So I got this uh, in the mail the other day, ordered from Amazon. I'll put links to both products in the description below. Um, the one on the right is permethrin, and the left is uh, Sawyer Picaridin Insect Repellent Lotion. So I'm going to test these two out. Bushcraft Ridge is really ticky. So my kids get ticks out there. We spray ourselves down, but um, we've been using Deep Woods Off. That's like 40% DEET, and that destroys your gear, and also is not very good for your skin, uh, especially if you have sensitive skin. What's up, buddy? <laughs> he didn't want to say hi. So I'm going to go out in shorts and a short sleeve to really test this stuff out. Um, the, Pic the Picaridin Insect Repellent Lotion by Sawyer, I'm going to rub on my arms, neck, face, uh, and legs, exposed legs. And then I'm going to treat my clothes with the permethrin. So read the, read the instructions if you order this stuff. Um, but essentially, you spray it on your clothes, let the clothes dry, and they're good for six weeks or six washes. And these are the clothes I'm going to spray. Bam! And one underwear from Walmart. Bam! Camo shorts, also from Walmart. And my Odie Green soft t-shirts from Army. Alright guys, I'm going to spray these down. Next time you see me, um, I don't know, I'll be in the woods maybe putting on the, the lotion or talking about it after I come home with zero ticks or a million ticks. We'll see how it goes. Oh, don't forget, if you like the video, like, share, subscribe, do what you do, questions and comments below, and let's get to it. All right, guys, it's about six hours since you saw me spray my clothes. Um, you didn't see me spray my boots, but I sprayed my boots too. I actually forgot to spray my hat, and I put on my, that insect repellent lotion, the Picaridin lotion, uh, right after that. So that lotion's supposed to last for 14 hours, and um, like I said, it's been about six. So I'm short sleeves shorts and we're gonna get into some brush over here and see if we can get some ticks uh, I, I just came up here playing with the mud tires again did a little thing right here started to slide toward that tree I think that tree may have to come down you see I started sliding toward that tree as I was making that turn backed out back to right there and then went around this way then I started sliding toward a tree over there and I think I hit that brush, but then, yeah, just playing in the mud. All right, I'm going to go up here, get the razor, and uh, see if we can... might cut this trail right here. There's the, the area that I cut last time. Oh, well, we'll play around and see, and then I'll just check back in another two or three hours and see if I got any bugs. Is that a pawpaw tree? So once I backed the um, razor out, um, I noticed that there was this little nest here. And unfortunately, Mama laid an egg in it. I'm going to try to take this out and place it near where the razor was parked. I don't know if mama will sit on it or take the egg, but we'll see. Sorry, little guy. And three hours later, I have, I was just gonna clear a narrow path here, but I started pushing my brush pile, this a smaller brush pile back uh, I left this, I think it's a pawpaw tree, um, but I cleared out all of this stuff, and there was all these dead logs laying down here, you see, and I was just going to cut this path to the other side, and I used nothing but my Gerber Freescape hatchet, with his, which is, it's just a Fisker's hatchet uh, with a green handle and the Gerber logo on it, I got a super good deal on it. 
Um, and then, of course, I can't stop, so I cleared off the area leading up here. And then I also chopped all the brush up to here and made this little path that I talked about wanting to make to the back corner. Probably take that little one down. But now we're, see that's what I got up to yesterday right over there. And now I have this whole path and I said I was gonna connect these. And I think I can connect that right around there. And then back down. So the bugs don't seem to have been bothering me. Um, no mosquitoes, gnats. I don't have any visible bugs. Um, I'll check back in once uh, I get home and check, take a shower, check myself thoroughly. <laughs> My watch just said workout finished for like the tenth time. <laughs> It's going to start saying, stop, stop, heart rate too high, you're going to die. So, I got a leaner right there. They're all leaning away from the cabin, so we're fine. Um, but I have this huge, I don't know if you can see how big this is. This is bigger than my wrist. Um, grapevine going up there. And I tried pulling on it with no luck. I think I'm going to tie it to the razor and take off down the hill there and see what happens. If anything cool happens, I'll let you know. If not, I'll just check in after I get home and uh, check myself for ticks.